All right, welcome back to Phlebotomy Solutions video presentation. Today we're gonna to talk about, did I miss the vein? Five reasons why no blood is flowing into the tubes. So there are five reasons why no blood is in your tube. We're gonna go over these basic reasons. Now, sometimes when you put a needle into the vein and you put the tube in the vacutainer and no blood is flowing out, that does not mean in every case that you missed the vein. There are a number of factors we need to consider uh, that why there's no blood flowing into the tube. So before you start over and take the needle out, let's go over a few of the reasons why and what you can do to maybe get blood flowing into the tube. The one problem that it could be is that the bevel on the vein, uh, the bevel on the needle is on the vein of the upper wall. This happens sometimes when your angle of insertion is under 15 degrees and you barely go in the vein, yet the bevel is resting on the upper part of the wall of the vein. So at this point, the only thing you can do is to put, bring the needle further into the vein and adjust your angle as you go in. You should still see blood flow into the tubes once you go further in. Do not take the tubes out while you're in the vein. Leave the tubes in, the vacuum is still working. Once you put the needle a little bit further in and adjusting your angle as you go in, you should see blood flow into the tube if the bevel of, of the needle is on the a vein of the upper wall. The next problem that happens is usually the bevel is on the lower part of the wall of the vein. This happens because you put the uh, bevel of the needle upside down, it's not facing up, it's facing down, and you enter the vein, even though you're at the proper angle, the vein is now, the, the bevel is now resting on the wall of the vein. The only thing you can do at this point is draw the needle back slightly to get the bevel, bevel off the wall of the vein. Once you do that, you should see blood flow into the tube. Uh, do not manipulate the needle. Do not uh, try and do any fishing maneuvers because you can still be in the vein and by you doing so can cause uh, you to tear or lacerate the vein. Now the other thing that could happen is that the needle is, is inserted too far into the vein. Now this happens because you, you just went through the vein. Uh, you put the needle too far. Instead of just the bevel in, you put the whole needle, you know, half the needle in or most of the needle and you went through the vein. The At this point, the solution for this to get blood to flow is just draw back on the needle slightly and slowly until you see blood flow into the tube. Again, do not manipulate the needle, just draw back and then wait until, as you're drawing back, wait until blood flows. Once you see blood flowing into the tube, you stop and allow the blood to fill in the tube. So again, proper angle bevels up, but you went too far. So just retracting the needle slowly will bring blood flow into the tube. Next is partial insertion. This is when your angle of your needle is too high, you're, you're above 30 degrees, and you barely get the tip of the needle into the vein. Now this happens because the vein could be a deeper, a deeper in, into the arm, and so you need to bring the needle a little further in the arm, further than the bevel and adjust, make sure your angle is at 30 degrees or less. So at this point, you can just slight, slowly insert the needle further in the arm until you see blood flow. And as you're doing so, draw the needle down slowly at the proper angle. You, again, you should see blood flow into the tubes at this point. So don't manipulate and don't fish. You could only uh, retract the needle or go a little further in. Next is a collapsed vein. This does happen quite a bit with fragile veins. The minute the needle goes into the vein, the vein can collapse. It doesn't mean that you did something wrong. You can do everything right and the vein can still collapse. At this point, you'll see blood swelling up under the skin and probably a little bump. At that moment, you need to take the needle out, cover the site and put pressure because you don't want blood leaking out all over the place. Now, again, this, there's nothing we can do at this point if you have a collapsed vein. We have to start over. So if the vein collapses and you see swelling happening and, and blood flowing above the, uh, the skin, 
and you see a little bump, stop what you're doing, take the needle out, apply pressure, and take care of the patient. There's nothing more we can do at this point. We have to start over at a different site in a different vein. Do not reattempt to draw on that same vein after it has collapsed. Now here's the correct way everything should look good. You're at a 15 to 30 degree angle, bevel up, you're completely in the vein, you're not too far, you're not too short of the vein, the bevel is not on the wall, upper or lower, is perfectly aligned in the vein, and your angle is correct. This is how your needle should, should look in the vein to get proper blood flow into the tubes. At this point, you'll have no problem getting enough blood. But again, if any of the other things happen, you can cause you know basic bruising or hematoma to the patient. This does happen when you uh, fail to insert the needle correctly into the vein. Even if you have to adjust the needle, adjust the needle can cause sometimes slight bruising. It's not intentional, but this does happen when you, your needle placement is incorrect. So when you place the needle correctly into the vein and everything looks good, the patient should be fine uh, once you give them post-care instructions, which we have in our other videos. So again, these are five reasons why no blood flow is in your tube. It doesn't mean you missed the vein, so don't prematurely just think you missed and pull out your tube and needle. Try these uh, five basic techniques or tips that I'm giving you before you uh, retract the needle out and start over. Again, this is Phlebotomy Solutions, a video presentation. I want to say thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Thank you and have a great day.